Hey, what's going on YouTube? Bear Fox here and welcome back to another brand new video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can improve FPS in all new Witchfire and fix all kind of lags, frame drops, stuttering and so much more. So make sure to stick around till the end and with all that said, let's get started with the intro. All right, step number one is the essential window settings. And for that, head over to settings on your PC and then go down to gaming. Go over to game bar and turn this thing off. Disabling game bar will help you to improve the system's performance by reducing the number of services running in the background. Go back to gaming, head over to game mode and turn this thing on. Enabling game mode will help you to improve the system performance by disabling notifications and other applications running in the background. Right doing that, you'll find graphics. Head over to that and then click on change default graphics settings. Enable both hardware accelerated GPU scheduling as well as optimizations for Windows games. As a Will help you to reduce your latency and utilize your GPU to render the games. Get back to graphics and over here click on the browse button and then add this game into the list. Head over to the install folder and then click on witchfire.exe, click on add and if this is already added, head over to options and then click on high performance, click on save. Click on the browse button once again and then enter witchfire binaries and add witchfire win64 shipping.exe in this list as well. Head over to options, click on high performance and then click on save. Most of that, head over to windows update and make sure that you're always up to date with the windows and this will ensure that any kind of windows update that might be causing your fps issues will be fixed step number two is creating a restore point and for that simply search for create a restore point on your pc and over here click on your local list c click on create and then name it a witch fire so you can remember it i highly recommend you guys not to skip this step because this is really essential if you want to restore all of your settings back to normal without any data loss once it is done click on close and then close system properties next step is the witch fire fps pack i'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below you can simply download it from there and join my discord server for a detailed downloading tutorial. In here, I have left five simple folders. First one is the CPU priority in which I have left AMD and Intel CPU priority. Once again, if you have an AMD CPU like me, you can double click and run the AMD CPU priority. Once again, if you have an Intel CPU, you can double click and run the Intel CPU priority. Go back to the main folder and now open up Witchfire priority. Over here, you'll find Witchfire above normal, high priority and normal priority. Once again, leave your PC specs down in the comments below and I'll be telling you guys which one to choose from in this list. Get back to the main folder. Third folder is the RAM optimization and over here you'll find a ton of presets that i have left for you guys i have 32 gb ram so i need to run this one but it could be different for you so you can double click and run according to your pc and if that doesn't work out well for you guys you can always reset it back to default fourth folder is the programs in which i have left to clean temporary files dot batch you have to right click in on this as administrator this pop-up will simply ask you to delete all temporary files on your pc you can simply press any key and this will start deleting it don't worry this is completely safe and these are just temporary dumps created by the program that are not in use next is the msi mode utility 3.0 right click in on this as administrator here you'll find all of your system devices in which you'll also find your graphic card click on the msi button in front of it and for the interrupt priority set this thing to high and then click on apply this will ensure that your gpu has the highest sfio priority allowing it to perform much better last folder is the invalid services and this is completely optional but it is really useful i have left a ton of services over here that you guys can disable and improve the system performance drastically for the maximum performance i would recommend to disable every single one of them but you can select them according to the use case once again, if you want to revert any of them back to normal, you can always use the revert registries folder. Once that is done, close the FPS pack and now let's move to the next step that is disabling startup applications. And for that, press Ctrl Shift and Escape all together and Task Manager will pop right in front of you guys. Head over to Startup Apps and then start disabling all unwanted applications that you guys do not use. This will help you to reduce the load on your system and reduce your BIOS booting time. The lower this time is, the faster your system will perform because less number of applications will be loaded since the boot of your PC. Next step is local group policy editor and this is only available for Windows Pro users. Simply look up for local group policy editor and then select edit group policy. Over here, head over to administrative templates, windows components, app privacy and over here you will find let windows apps run in the background. Simply double click and then set to enable and this policy will be enabled on your PC. Then for default for all applications, set this into force deny and then click on apply and this will set the policy to deny all applications running in the background once that is done close this next step is deanimating your windows and for that simply search for adjust the appearance and performance of windows and over here click on custom and then select save taskbar thumbnail previews show thumbnails instead of icons show window contents while dragging and 
and smooth edges of screen fonts. All of them will ensure that all unnecessary animations of your windows are completely disabled. Although this will not help you to improve your system's performance significantly, but this contributes to the basic look and basic performance of your windows. Next step is in the advanced section that is virtual memory. Click on the change button over here and deselect automatically manage paging file size. For the custom size, set this thing to 1361 as this is the most optimal value that I have ever found. And for the maximum size, you have to open up your calculator and divide your total physical memory with 2. So my total physical memory is 32 GB. So first I have to multiply it with 1024 to get the size in megabytes. Once I'm here, simply divide this by 2 and the value that I get over here is what I have to paste in the maximum size. Then click on set, click on OK and this is how you optimally set your virtual memory for gaming. Next step is services.msc and for that simply search for services on your system and once you're over here press S on your keyboard and then look for sysmain. Once you find it, right click on that, head over to properties and then for the startup type set this thing to disabled and then click on apply. If it is already running on your PC, you can right click and then click on stop and this service will be stopped on your PC. Sysmain consumes a lot of CPU and RAM usage and disabling that will help you to improve your system's performance. Once you're done with that, simply close it and now drop into the game for the best in-game settings. Okay, once you're in your game, press your escape key and then head over to settings. Then go over to video settings and then make sure that you're always on full screen and your native resolution and aspect ratio. Go down and increase your FOV all the way to max. VSync and FPS limit should be turned off. Reflex should be set to NVIDIA on plus boost. And upscale type should be set to DLSS. And the super resolution can be quality and balanced. Any of them work. If you have an AMD graphic card, go with FSR2. And FSR2 mode should be set to balanced. And that is it. Graphics preset should be set to custom, where detailed mode should be set to medium. Shadow quality low, shadow render distance low, anti-aliasing off, texture quality high, effects quality low, foliage quality low, foliage render distance low, reflection quality low, 3D model rendering medium, bloom off, chromatic aberration off, depth of field off, grain off, lens flares should be turned off, motion blur should be turned off, sharpen on and vignette on. Once you're done with that, you guys can now enjoy the maximum FPS available in the game. So guys, that was it for this video. I hope I could have helped you out. If I could have, make sure to do leave a like and smash the subscribe button. We are really close to 200,000 subscribers and your support is really appreciated. Also, if you guys are not a channel member yet, consider getting the membership and we'll see you guys in another amazing video. Until then, stay tuned. Keep watching Barry Fox and peace out.